We are working in Module 13 where we've been talking about payroll. We went through in Section 2 and talked a little bit about how to set up those payroll items. And then Section 3, we talked about how to set up the employees. Now all we have to do is actually pay them, and I'm sure they're going to be glad to get paid. This is going to be Section 4, and let's go ahead and flip over and start paying our employees. When you get ready to pay the employees, just go right here where it says pay employees, and then you're going to be able to see everything you need to see as far as running payroll. If you notice, we're actually just on the payroll tab. Remember when we were over in section three and we were talking about working with employees, we were just over here. We're just on the payroll tab now. You'll notice that if you're on the payroll tab, there's three options here that you can work with. Let's start with the one that says pay employees. What you'll notice right here is that this is actually a payroll schedule that's been set up and it's letting us know that it's overdue and that we should run it by the 29th. If you want to run a payroll schedule, just choose it and come down here and say start scheduled payroll. It will know all the employees that you need to pay. If you just want to go ahead and pay someone who's not part of one of those schedules or maybe you don't have those schedules set up, just start an unscheduled payroll right here. Back to the schedules for a minute, let me just point out right here, this is where you would create a new one, edit a schedule or delete one. These are recent payrolls down here. Also notice there's some quick guides down here, some PDFs if you want to read through those to kind of help you with this. There's also some other activities. Those will be things like, do you need to set up direct deposit? Do you want to go ahead and void some paychecks, print them? You can kind of see what your choices are. Here's some reports for payroll. And these are some supplies and services you could actually buy from Intuit if you want to order checks, order a labor law poster, or get a workman's comp quote, you can do that. Let's go ahead and start an unscheduled payroll. The first thing you want to notice is that you have to set the pay period ending and the check date. You need to make sure those are accurate or you're not going to be able to have the correct information on your checks. This is the bank account the money's coming from, and it does tell you the balance in the bank account, just so you can make sure you have enough money. When you print your checks, you can print the paychecks on check stock, or you can handwrite them. If you're going to handwrite them, go ahead and put in the first check number right here. If you wanted to check all of the employees, you just check all right here. But if you only wanted one at a time, then you can just check that one or those two, that sort of thing. This is what you're seeing here. This is each employee. You can see the last time they were paid, their regular pay, what it was, overtime, how many hours, all that information. So you can see that Elizabeth Mason, for example, her regular pay is 80 hours. If I wanted to look at one of these, let's say I look at Elizabeth and I click on her. She's a link there. This is what her paycheck will look like. She had 80 hours of regular pay. What's going to happen is, let's say she had 80 hours of regular pay and she also had three hours of overtime. You would just plug that in right here. If you wanted to take sick or vacation, you could actually go ahead and plug that in here and it would actually take it and deduct it from however much they had available. You can see that changes as soon as I click the tab key there, that vacation changed. Here are your other payroll items. If I happen to be here and I see the health insurance and I say to myself, you know, she actually has dental as well, I can come down here and plug it in. Let's say she pays 685. These are all the deductions that the company pays, and these are all the deductions from the employee side. This is going to be the check amount. That's all you have to do is double check all this and then save and close. If you have an employee that maybe they get pretty much the same amount of hours each payday, you really wouldn't have to change anything in here. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And now Elizabeth is set up ready to go. Did you notice her hours changed? See that? I could go through with Greg and do the same thing and Dan Miller if I wanted to. I'm going to click continue at the bottom and it's going to show me for each employee here what their gross pay is, what the taxes are, the deductions, all the way across. 
Now I'm just going to create paychecks. This check date is 113. I'm going to show you in the register in a minute how it shows up. Here it asks me, would you like to print the paychecks now or print the stubs? Let me just show you what a stub looks like, just so you'll be aware of it. I'm going to preview. And here's what their check stub looks like. It's just on a regular piece of paper. It has their name and address. You can see it has all their earnings, the taxes that were withheld, any paid time off. You can kind of see everything there. Let me go ahead and close that. I'll just go ahead and get out of this and go on over to the check register so I can show you that those paychecks are in the register now. I'm going over to check register here. I'm going to go to checking. And if I go down and look, there's Greg, Elizabeth, and Dan on January 13th. You can see that it says it's a paycheck and it has a split option here because it's split amongst multiple accounts in your chart of accounts. That's pretty much all you need to know about your payroll. Now we're going to go ahead and do the last thing associated with payroll. We need to pay those payroll taxes. Let's go ahead and head over to Section 5 and I'll show you how that's done. Hey everyone, Simon here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe to our channel so you get notified of new videos that we upload. Click over there to get a free two-hour course to learn the essentials of QuickBooks 2018. And click over there to get the complete list of videos in this playlist. I'll see you next week with additional videos.